Hello, everyone, and welcome to the wonderful world of Raft. So we're not playing just regular Raft. We have a whole bunch of mods installed, and I will provide a list down below as well as links if you're interested in modding Raft for yourself. It has been so long since I have played this game and I cannot tell you how excited I am to be back in our own water world. I love this game so very much and I'm really looking forward to starting this series. Okay, so let's go ahead, keep getting some items from the ocean because this is what we do. And oh, we've got Bruce right here hanging out with us, which is, you know, not great, but it is it is what it is. Um, one of the mods I do have is disassociation dissimulation. So if you were to kill a shark and then get his head, he will no longer attack you, which is phenomenal because we don't want to be attacked by stupid Bruce. Sorry, Bruce, no offense. No offense. I just don't want to lose my legs. All right. So how much stuff do we have? Not a whole lot. Um, can I make a rope? I can. All right. So that means we can go ahead and start expanding as soon as we get some more supplies here, which is a bit of a pain. Ooh, ooh, I see an island off there to the left, which is great because we are going to need all the stuff and things. Huh. Please reach. Yay. Okay. That'll definitely come in handy. I only have one rock. Well, that's not good. I need to make an anchor. Uh, can I please reach that box? Okay. Let's get a little bit closer. Nope. Ah, uh, come on. Give me the box. Yes, I got the box. Okay. All right. No rock, though. Um, oh, this is going to be a bit difficult because I don't have enough stone to make an anchor and I don't really want to swim all the way over to the island and have Bruce attack me. Oh man, what can I do? Can I make a paddle? Um, oh, I can. All right, we have a paddle. Okay, we're just going to paddle our way over there and try to get ourselves lodged up on the side of the island over there. Oh, plastic. I'll grab that for we're sure. More plastic. Give me the plastic. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we're going to just paddle up, try to get ourselves stuck over here so that I don't have to worry about making an anchor just yet. And hopefully I'll be able to find some stone under the water, which you know, not, not super excited for. Okay. Yep. Um, I see some scrap metal. Oh, there's some stone right there. Okay. All right. Let's see. Can I get myself lodged up in here? Please, please. All right. Just don't move. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right. You stay right here. Don't go anywhere, um, because if we lose our raft, we lose the game. Okay, there's Bruce. Let me just get a, get this, get this, get this. Oh, get out of the water, get out of the water. Don't attack me. <laughs> it makes me so nervous. Okay, all right. So we have enough rope to make a uh, an anchor, which is great. Um, you, oh. He's right under us. Okay, we do need a spear, I think. Um, a wooden spear. I don't have enough planks. Okay. Ah! I'm just gonna jump on top of his back. It'll it'll be fine. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I have <laughs> I have some of my settings a little bit wonky because I have a mod called Your Balance. Okay. Come on, Bruce. I see you. I'm just gonna glitch right inside of your body. Why are you not attacking me? What's your problem? What's your problem? Okay, well, I'm just gonna kill you. If I can. Just. Oh god, that's so creepy. Look at his mouth. Ugh! I don't understand what your deal is. Can I please kill you? I can't tell. I cannot tell. 
Oh boy, I'm gonna actually have to go in and change some of my settings. Um, the oxygen thing is weird. And also, why why are you not attacking me? I don't understand. What's your deal? Are you dead? Just die. Bruce, just die, man. Just die. Come on, man. I'm giving you all the pokes. Come on! Are you, like, invincible? Oh! Oh, I killed him! Okay. Alright, let's get out of his body, because that's just weird. Shark meat, shark meat, shark meat, shark meat, and a shark head! Yay! Okay. Perfect. Oh, okay, let's get that on our body. Oh, that's... That's great. Okay, alright. Fantastic. Okay. So now we should be perfectly safe to go ahead and harvest up all the stone that we need to make an anchor for when we hit the next island. I don't like the teeth. The teeth are freaking me out. All right, the next thing we really want to do, oh, let's get the scrap metal, is find all the sand and the clay that we possibly can because I need to make some forges. I want metal, I want metal tools so bad, so fast. Like that needs to happen immediately. No more bruises? Okay, all right. Let's come up for a little bit of air. Okay, so if I were to hit this, yes, okay, all right, so my settings are a little bit wonky, we'll go to normal for that one, we'll go to normal for this one, and normal for all of these, okay, um, swimming speed I definitely want, one I think is normal, and yeah, everything else should be fantastic, okay. All right, so let's go ahead, pop right back inside of here, get our kelp stuff. Oh, it's shadows from the birds. I'm getting really nervous. Although we are wearing a shark head, and that should keep us protected because we have disassociated disassociation dissemination. I t <laughs> something like that. Did something like that where if you wear the head of a predator. They will not attack you, which I'm very happy about because I don't want to be attacked by sharks while I'm out here gathering stuff and things. Okay, some scrap metal. That's great. Any more sand? Man, I really do need all the sand and the clay. How much do we have? Not much. Not much at all. Um, oh, we gotta come up for air. Okay. Head back down. Oh, come on. Sand and clay. Oh, here's some clay. Just need some sand. Come on. What's down here? A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> oh, there's some metal. I'll definitely take that. For sure. Okay, I think we're gonna pop up for a little bit and swim around, whoop, swim around and zerp up some of these um, materials that are just hanging out in the ocean that I completely missed and could not get because of Bruce. All right, let's grab that. Oh, here's some more wood, fantastic. Gonna need that to make some tools. Yeah, I don't like to see the teeth around the edge of my screen. It's freaking me out. Okay. And if you're wondering what that red line is in the center of my raft, it is a mod called Find Your Raft Center. So I have a huge raft build in mind. And I need to know where the center of my raft is so I can actually build it properly. Okay, so we have an ax. Let's go ahead and hop up here. Um, oh, here's a tree. Chop this guy for sure. That's weird. I don't have any sound effects from hitting the tree, but it's fine. Totally fine. Oh, it looks like Bruce is back. I see him swimming around back out there, down there in the water. Ugh. I hate sharks. <laughs> okay, so we should have a fair amount of wood. 
Yeah, we've got 17. We've got a little bit of coconut. That's great to at least get us started. Um, we'll put all of our materials here. Just reorganize our hot bar a little bit. Okay. All right. Um, how do I get up? Oh, just jump. Okay. <laughs> Maybe try jumping, bad wolf. All right, I'm gonna run around the island, gather up some more wood, and I'll bring you guys back in just a second. Okay, I got a whole bunch of stuff and things, and I have now completely run out of storage space, which is not great. <laughs> it is not great at all. Um, if I were to go in here, it costs two each. So maybe, hmm, maybe for now I'm gonna drop the seed. I'll pick that up in just a second. We're gonna go ahead and make a research table because we absolutely need to do our research because not only are we sailors, we're also scientists, okay? So if we stick in one item and then hit research, we can learn the recipes that are made with those particular items. So we'll just stick all this stuff in here. Uh, wood for sure, our rope. Okay, and then we'll learn all the stuff that we can. Okay, so looks like I need to get some nails. Absolutely, okay, so let's go ahead and drop our coconut seeds really quickly. Go back into here, make a nail. Maybe I already had some on me. I'm not sure. Okay, perfect. Okay, those collection nets are going to be essential. Um, can I make... I can't. I need a little bit more plastic, though. Let's see. I have three. I'm going to get my spear out. Oh, that's all kelp. Oh, I see plastic way out here in the distance. Okay. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Swim faster. Get the plastic. Get the plastic. I think that's a little bit more over here as well. Oh, and more wood. Okay. Get that one. And that palm frond. For sure, because we need all the rope. We need all the rope. We need all the wood. We need all the things. Always be zerping. All right. Okay. So let's get back to our raft. And figure out what I need to make another or to make our first storage box. Let's get up here. Oh, I need two more pieces of plastic. I should have counted while I was collecting. All right, is there any up here? No, I don't see any. Okay. Let's check back here. Here's one, which is great. Um, uh, any more? Oh, there's a barrel. Okay, perfect. That's our two pieces of plastic right there. Okay, let's get up on our raft and make a little storage box. Perfect. Okay, and we're just gonna stick this under here if I can. I can. Because we have almost no space. Oh no, that's crouch. Just shift click. Shift click. Not control. All right. All the different games I play, they get all confused up in my brain. I also have sort your inventory, where if you hit C, it will sort your inventory for you, which is super handy. I love it. Um, let's see here. Yeah, okay. I don't think he's going to attack us because we're wearing his noggin on our noggin, which is great. Um, okay, so scrap metal. Yeah, I really need to find some more um, clay and sand for sure. And it's easier to find it at night because it kind of glows. It has like a little bit of a shimmer. Which is super handy. Uh, here's some. Definitely get that scrap metal and some more sand. Okay, we are on our way to making progress. Uh, oh, here's some. Yeah, yeah. Uh, any more? All right, I'm gonna swim around for a bit and I'll be our bees. 
So I went and I collected all the sand and clay that I could find and I went ahead and made some wet bricks. And the second that those are done and they're all cured up, we can pop them into here and then that will give us the recipe for the smelter, which we need so bad. All right, so I went ahead, got us unstuck, and now we're heading off in a new direction. Um, I do wish I had a streamer so I could see if I'm pointing in the right direction, but it's fine. It's fine. We're just going to keep an eye out on the horizon and look for another island. Well, I've been floating around for quite a while and I have not seen a single island. I did, however, end up picking up the blueprint for the receiver and the antenna. And since we already learned them, we don't need them. And don't worry about that. They'll despawn, I promise. We're not littering in the ocean. Okay, so I think in the meantime, while we're waiting for an island to show up, A, I need to gather all that stuff. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Thank you. Um, I think in the meantime, what we're going to do is grab our dry brick, pop it in here, and learn that. Now, we don't have the other bricks that we need because we haven't found another island to gather all the sand and clay from. But what we could do is, if you notice, my food is very, 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 very low. Um, we need a crop plot, so I'm going to go ahead and make one of these big guys. Oh boy, that might have been a mistake. Okay, we need to expand. Let's go ahead and expand. All right, so now I should have plenty of space to go ahead, grab out the beets and all these things, and go ahead and start planting away. And thankfully, it's raining, so I don't have to worry about watering them and having to make a watering can because that's not something I can do just yet. So we're going to let those guys grow and I'm just going to keep an eye out for another island. Hopefully I'll find one soon. One eternity later. And here we are. We have finally, finally found another island. Okay. All right. So I have room in my inventory. The only thing is I'm starving and I don't really have a whole lot of food. Can I make the grill. I can make the purifier for sure. And then there we go. All right. So we'll put the grill down and then I think my shark meat is too big. Oh, oh, oh we're going to have shark meat. We're going to have shark meat. Delicious. Okay. I am, however, going to check this island really super quickly for any kind of fruit. Can I please get up here? Thank you. Okay. Here's a watermelon. I mean, it's not fantastic food, but it's something. All right. Am I going to get any mangoes? Oh, I got one mango, two mangoes. Oh, okay. All right. Let's eat that twice because it's so huge. Okay. And now we can go ahead and eat some of our mangoes and get our food level back up. Oh, thank gosh. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave all the trees up there for now because we really desperately, desperately need sand and clay so bad. Ooh, there's a crate over here. Okay. All right. Not fantastic, but I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. I could always use more rope. Um, oh, here's some sand. All right. I'm going to be doing this for a little bit. <laughs> okay. So I went ahead and got a bunch more sand and clay. We have a few more bricks and I came back to finally eat something delicious. Oh my gosh. It gave me so much food. Okay. I have a few more pieces. So we're going to go ahead and get that on there for right now. The next thing we really truly do need. Well, mm, trying to think the best way to do this because we need a water purifier and we have access to the basic one. This one right here, which is great, but I'd much rather have the fancy one because it produces so much more water than one cup at a time. And all we need to get that is the forge and a couple pieces of sand. So I'm going to go back down into the water and I'm going to go grab some more materials. And we finally have everything we need to make our first smelter. Yes. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. So where did I put my metal? It's in here. I've only got three planks left, which not great. Not great. Not going to lie. Okay. Our trees are ready to be harvested, which is phenomenal. 
All right, and I think I've already put in our first piece of metal to get smelted. And then as soon as that's done, we can turn it into a bolt and research the bolt. And then that bolt is going to unlock some fantastic upgrades for us. The new scrap hook and the metal ax. Oh, it's going to be so nice. Okay, so do I have any more coconut seeds? I didn't get any coconuts from that tree. Well, that's not good. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to have to go chop down these trees. Let's go ahead. Head up here. Okay, then we have one more. Grab this one. Please give me some coconuts. There we go. Okay, because I have a mod that lets me craft um, plant seeds from the fruits. So, let's see. If I go in here and then into resources, I have all the recipes to craft up all these different seeds. So, if I want more of these palm seeds, go ahead, head over here, but I'm short a coconut. So, I do have these two seeds. I am going to go ahead and insert those. It's not raining, and I don't have access to water just yet, but that's fine. All right, so if we go here, can I make a bolt? No, right, I have to research the ingot first, learn how to make the bolt and the hinge and the better grill, and then we can pop in some more planks and another piece of metal, and then when that's done, we can learn the bolt. Okay, so now we can go ahead and craft up that bolt, stick that into the research table. Why do I have two? Oh, maybe, okay, interesting. Okay, so the better fishing rod, a shovel, the new scrap hook, the planter. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, perfect. So now if we go into here, this is gonna be the first one I wanna make because it's faster and more durable and can be thrown further. However, when it comes to durability, I have a mod called Your Balance. Now that will let me change the, um, the durability for my equipment. And because I got really frustrated with having to craft a new one every 20 minutes, I decided to just make it so they last forever because I'm sorry. I think some games should not have <laughs> item durability and this is one of them. It, it drives me insane. So now that we have access to that, we have a whole bunch of sand. And I know I had said in order to get the better um, water purifier, we need glass and cooking up that sand is going to give us some glass so we can finally learn that and then we'll have access to water. The next thing we have to do is, do I have any vines? I have six. We're going to have to smelt up some of these guys so we can get vine goo and then we can learn how to make a bigger plastic bottle, which will give us way more water on our hot bar, which is gonna be so good. We have our first piece of glass. We can actually pop in some more sand, get that going, go ahead and research this. And we can learn the drinking glass and there it is, the advanced purifier. Okay, so if I go into here, I need four pieces of glass. So we're gonna have to do a fair amount of smelting. Okay, we finally have all of the glass smelted up and we can put down our purifier, which is phenomenal. However, we're missing a step. <laughs> we really, really, truly need some cooked vine goo. So once we get that, it should go ahead and unlock, where is it? The bottle. There it is. Just need plastic and vine goo and then we'll be good to go. Oh man, all right. It's gonna take a little bit longer to smelt up that vine goo and I think I'm gonna need two of them because I need one for the research and then I'm gonna need the um, other to craft the bottle with. Okay, first piece of vine goo is done. Let's go ahead, pop it in here and research and see what we can learn. Scroll all the way back up to the top. All right, our bottle, the bow, the net, ooh, flippers, and the cooking uh, pot station thing. What's it called? Yeah, the cooking pot. All right, so that's great. Um, now we just have to cook up the rest. How much do we need? We need four. So this is gonna take a little bit, but 
in short order, we will have our first bottle and then we can finally have access to all the water we could ever need which is great because my water is very very slowly draining and i don't have any and i've already taken all of the uh pineapples i almost said potatoes yeah there we go there we go i'm coughing i'm hacking up a lug i'm probably gonna die but uh it's fine it's totally fine we'll um oh man do i have any watermelon <gasps> i have watermelon my life is saved Thank you, watermelon. Oh, man. Okay. I was getting real nervous about that. Okay, so we just got to wait for this guy to finish smelting. Oh, there's one. Okay, and that's our second. And we just need three more. And then we can finally make a bottle. I have enough plastic, right? Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. Well, swimming around looking for materials, I came upon this guy. Ooh, it's an abandoned raft. Ooh, we got a decoration package. That's cool. All right, so you definitely want to hop off of there because those things sink as soon as you touch them. All right, now we just got to swim right back over to our raft and hopefully our second to last piece of vine goo will be smelted. I'm slowly starting to starve, but let's see what we got in our decoration package. I learned how to make a painting. Well, that's handy. Um... Let's see. Okay, so I have seven planks left. I should have enough to go ahead and cook up a piece of shark meat and hopefully get that last piece of vine goo smelted. Man, this is, uh, this is rough. This is super rough. I hear my tummy growling. It's not happy. Come on, steak. Please cook faster. Okay, how about you? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and throw- Oh! Oh! It's done! It's done! That means- Oh! Where is it? Bottle! Craft! Yes! Okay, so I don't want to remove my anchor. I want to fill this with salt water. And the entire bottle of water fits in there. And that's enough for five servings. And very quickly, we should have filtered water. And then we can go ahead and water our plants. And we'll have access to pineapples again, which will be really great. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm starving. Do I have any mango seeds? I have one coconut. And I have no mangoes. I got no mango seeds. I don't know if I planted any mango trees. Oh, maybe I did. I can't tell. I can't tell. Everything's so small. Oh, come on, steak. All right, we're going to eat this watermelon. Oh, I know. I hear you, tummy. I hear you. <laughs> the sounds are so funny. Oh, come on. Come on, please cook. Please cook. Oh, our water's done, which is phenomenal. We'll scoop up all that. Huh. All that. Water our plants which is great. And uh, yeah, so now we can just go ahead and drink from our water bottle. Look at that, our water is pretty much full. That's fantastic. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and drink that last bit, fill with salt water and get this guy filled back up so we have more. <gasps> My steak is finally done. Oh, thank gosh, thank gosh, okay. All right, so now I think it's probably time to move on from this island and try to find even more supplies. And I think we're going to take care of that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I know we're a little bit all over the place. It is early game, and I promise there is a method to all of this madness. And I cannot wait to continue to progress in the coming episodes. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing as well. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video or when I go live. And I can't wait to see all of you later.